In a previous video, I highlighted the popular Hadley telescope, which is great, but it's kind of missing a major component, the mount. In that video, I recommended the Skywatcher AZ GTI, a computerized go-to mount. And well, that recommendation still stands if you've got the budget. However, I've come up with something that I think may be even better for starting out and a lot cheaper. Day build stuff. This is the Davely mount. I suck at names. It's a simple altitude azimuth or alt as mount designed for and in the spirit of the Hadley telescope. It's mostly 3D printed and relatively inexpensive while also offering optimal performance characteristics for a small telescope. It's designed for use with a standard photo video or astronomy tripod that you may already have. I'm using the tripod included with the Skywatcher AZ-GTI. The support and movement of a telescope are as important as the optics. You want something that is going to be able to hold the mass of the optical tube without excessively wobbling, while also offering smooth, damped motion without binding. The combination of these attributes can be tricky to pull off, particularly on small budgets and with 3D printing. This project went through a few iterations. I started with a design that used a 15 millimeter rod with bearings for the altitude axis and a four inch turntable bearing, similar to a version of the one I used for my 12 inch telescope for the azimuth. For damping, I used UHMW tape applied to the surface of 3D printed parts that I could clamp against the rotating components. This initially seemed like it would work, but it would turn out to be a complete failure. The 4-inch turntable bearing was terrible in motion, grinding and sticking. The UHMW tape dampers didn't really work. It didn't move at all like intended and was excessively wobbly. Some of the parts warped during printing and cracked along the layer lines during assembly. Back to the drawing board. I changed to a design that used large 60 by 78 by 10 millimeter bearings for the altitude and azimuth axes.
for damping the altitude axis, I used a 10 millimeter stainless steel shaft and UHMW block I had extra from my 12 inch telescope project. That didn't really work as the shaft just slipped inside the altitude axis bearing block. This design was also wobbly, bleh, still not there. Back to the drawing board for a third redesign, this time a simpler L-shaped bracket with diagonal stiffeners. Both axes use the same 60 by 78 by 10 millimeter bearings and damping strategies. A simple block of UHMW or Teflon or PTFV that can be clamped against the rotating part. This seemed to provide decent damping, but again, it was just not stable enough. There's play in the bearings and rotating assemblies. Dang, uh, back to the drawing board again. Finally, I realized that what I needed was proper axles and preloaded bearings. So now we're back to a rectangular box design, but this time with two bearings on each axis with axles that can be tightened to preload the bearings, removing any play. Damping is still applied like in the previous design, with these PTFE blocks rubbing against the shaft faces. This design is almost there, like it's pretty good. Except excessive wobbling on the altitude axis due to the shaft not being torsionally stiff enough. That's an easy fix, I just made a larger diameter shaft. This thing works pretty decent now. It's far from perfect, but for the size, cost, and small payload it has to support, it's definitely up to the task. I had no problem pointing the Hadley at various stars, centering them, and adjusting the focus. 
There's a level of adjustment and tuning you can experiment with to optimize the motion. First, the tension in the PTFE dampeners can be adjusted by tightening and loosening the screws. Another thing to try is printing the rubbing faces of the axes in various materials. I just use PLA, but I suspect a harder material or something fiber reinforced would work better. You can try sanding these faces smooth, or actually maybe some texture would work better here. There's a lot to play with and to find the best solution. So there you have it, a relatively inexpensive 3D printable mount suitable for small telescopes like the Hadley. After a lot of work, I'm quite pleased with how this came out and found that it's been kind of fun just pushing the telescope around the night sky again. I look forward to getting this little telescope out under some proper dark skies again soon. I feel like this design is a great starting point that can be upgraded and improved upon in the future. For example, I could foresee adding gears and motors to create a go-to drive system for this telescope. And as such, this, like all my projects, are available free to download on printables or my website. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. I hope you dig this project and you'll subscribe and stick around for some more. I'll see you on the next one.